Uh, this is me attempting to play Elder Scrolls Online. This is my character, one Uthdan Umbrell. Uh, he is a level 13 Argonian Templar. Now what is interesting about uh, playing Elder Scrolls Online, one of the things that I've noticed just trying to set up for you all tonight, is for reasons known only to the creators. The scenes that are blocked are the scenes that actually advertise which studios put this together. So for example, trying to log in earlier tonight, the Bethesda logo screen is a locked screen that I can't stream with you all. Which seems a bit mad, because you'd have thought that if you were Bethesda, and you had made this game and people were going to stream it so that other people can come along and watch, that actually what you would want people to know is that this was a game made by you, that this was the thing that you would like them all to see. Oh well, never mind, that's Bethesda for you. So we uh, log on and we get uh, random free stuff for uh, logging on. I'll just, uh, what's this? Confirm purchase. It's a crow collar uh, and I will purchase it for me because it is, appears to be free. So let's do that. I have successfully purchased the crow collar. Fantastic. Uh, I like things that have the words free in them. I don't know what they do, but uh, I now own one. So this is Elder Scrolls Online. I am at the moment in uh, a town, which I should probably show you. Let's pull up the menu. There we are. Uh, so we're in Davin's Watch, one of the biggest towns that I've come across. We were spending a bit of time doing the smithing and the tailoring and all that sort of stuff. Like a lot of the online games, if you've played, well, pretty much any of them really, uh, there is a whole crafting mechanic that allows you to buy things and upgrade things and build them all for yourself. It's uh, another one of those ways that you can plow time into the game. One of the things that got me interested in Elder Scrolls Online is that I do actually quite like an online game. But I'm not really a fan of paying things uh, for online games because I simply don't have the spare cash. So I was quite surprised to discover that actually Elder Scrolls Online, once you've picked it up, is actually free to play. Now, if you want any of the expansion packs, Summer Isle, for example, or Morrowind, then you do in fact need to put your hand in your pocket and actually pay some money for it. But if you're not too bothered about either of those, you can actually pick up a disc from your local uh, computer exchange, CEX, other stores are available, uh, GameStop and so on, for pretty much two or three pounds, which will give you all you need to do to log on and to play. And to be honest with you, while I have actually put my hand in my pocket and paid for the Morrowind uh, expansion because it was on sale and it was only seven pounds and really I wanted to stop because I'm lazy. I wanted to stop having to have to get up and change the disc every time I wanted to play it. Uh, you don't actually need that content and I haven't yet got anywhere near that content. It hasn't really made much of a difference. So while I've been talking to you, I've just been running around in circles. And those of you that are used to this channel by now will know that that's because I've forgotten what it is that I'm doing. We do have, unlike some of the other games we've been playing recently, a nice little HUD. Not as useful as some others, but if you can see at the top of the screen just there, you can see that actually what we've got is a list of little arrow icons and just above it, probably in writing too small for you to make out, is actually the things that we can do. So we can go and craft things, and that dog just phased through a wall. Anyway, uh, we can go and craft things. We can uh, go to a place called Crow's Wood, just showing up there. We can uh, go and visit Kalishig the Axe. We can go and see Killian, and I think that is it. We have got a lot, uh, a lot of uh, quests, so if we were to open up our quest log, if I can remember how we get to the quest log, that's in journal, quests, 
So these are the quests that we we have. These are various levels of of quests and where they are and whether or not they are main plot. So miscellaneous is for glory. So we found a pamphlet about the battlegrounds, which is basically this game's version of PvP. Uh, there's the Daughter of Giants, which is the a solo dungeon that you can wander into. We can go and explore the Divine Conundrum, the Missing Prophecy, the Sampling, and so on. Now, each of these are set for my level, which is level 13. So we kind of want to pick one that uh, isn't going to uh, take us too long. So what I'm going to, to do with you, I think, is we're going to delay the daggers, which involves talking to Holgun. This involves trying to stop an invasion that we've, we have found is going to happen. So this is Holgun. There we go, so we can talk to him. Welcome to the Devon's Watch Guild Hall. So, Guild. The Fighters Guild, have we come to join the Worthy Crusades? Uh, we have a new Guild Master and, uh, and a new singular purpose. Why don't we talk about it for a moment? This strange people, that's not how people talk. And our options are, sounds good, let's talk about the Fighters Guild. There we go. So we're drawing blades. So we've mentioned a singular purpose. There we are. All uh, sees all colours is the new guildmaster, hunting down the Daedra and their dark anchors. You might have seen them. Enormous chains fall from the sky. That doesn't sound good. Plagues of Daedra boil out and lay waste to the countryside. Ooh, well, let's see. Do we want to know what we get in return? Do we want to find out what happened to the old guildmaster? Or do we want to make the part that he's not part of the packed military? Uh, let's ask what happened to the last bloke. Oh, passed away. Very, su very suddenly. But he passed away in his sleep. Call to Storvengard. We all miss you. That looks like he was poisoned. All right. Okay. So we're not part of the military. Our blades are in service to the guild. So we are neutral in the war between the three alliances. Some follow the dragon, some follow the king, of course. For every race, every creed belongs in the, under the guild hall's roof. Right, well, plot has brought me here. We will uh, join the Fighters Guild, I guess. To the family, as an associate of the Fighters Guild. Get out there and take the fight to the Daedra. Oh, there we go. So we can... Um... Why don't you introduce yourself? Oh, so uh, we will receive the uh, 38 coins and the skill line for the Fighters Guild. Hmm. 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 Well, it doesn't say that we, it's, it doesn't appear to have a, have a, let's, if you do this, you can't go and be anything else. So we've gained the skill line Fighters Guild. We don't have to spend any XP in it. Achievements. We are associate of the Fighters Guild. I want one of those. I want to know how you get one of those. That. That's a familiar. I want one. Right. What was I doing? Uh, talk to Holgun. Um, and talk to Garin Inderil, the optional bit. So let's see, where do we need to go to talk to Garil and Underlil? Uh, Guildmaster sees all colors. That's if we want to go do some fighters quests. We're not really interested in that. Uh, talk to uh, Garil Underlil above. Right, so above, when there are levels, it tells you whether or not you're on the same level as the people you're going to go speak to. So the person that we're here uh, to talk to is Garin Indoril. Love these names. At least they're pronounceable, unlike some places where it looks like the person who's come up with the name basically smashed their f their fists repeatedly on a keyboard until they got an answer. Ah, we appear to have got ourselves stuck. Right, so this is not the way to go, even though it says above. I wonder if there's another way through. One of the problems with trying to follow a linear target in a circular city. So let's walk around and try going up these stairs. This will take us over the little bridge and see if we can find our way towards our target from this side of the bridge. 
There we go. Garin Indoril. Garin and Doril. On this level, so presume if we go up, it'll it'll say below. No, it hasn't. So we're still going in the right direction. Let's see. Uh, seems to say that it should be inside. Uh, that's the bank. We don't go to the bank. Oh, it's a funny little, fun little animal. And is this the way? Is this is looking like a dead end? Zen, you're not very good at this, are you? So, at least one of the benefits of doing this is that you all get to see exactly how pretty this game is. Whether you like online gaming or not, and I know that uh, a few of my followers and a few of my friends actually don't like online gaming because unfortunately with online gaming other people can be not very nice. But uh, if you, uh, even if you don't like online gaming, at least the at least the place is nice. Okay. Where is this? Where is this Gary and Underhill? No, no. Talk to Gary and Underhill. It would be nice if they actually said where this person is. I wonder if my map will help. Should we check the map? Let's see what have we got. A map. Uh, let's see. Uh, that's a caravan. So this is what? So that's the refugees. That's That allows us to, to pick the active quest. Uh, seek out Sil's blessing. Convince the Argonians. Talk to Rhea. Uh, is talk to Indoril out of the city? No, it's not. So talk to Indoril means that they must be somewhere in the city. Oh, that was the quest. Uh, that's restoring order. That's a cooking fire. That's a caravan. What are you then? That's a cooking fire in the brewers. It's a boat. Boat. Uh, I'm going to presume that other anchor is a boat. What's that? Uh, talk to Garin Indoril. Okay, so they are in this building. So how do we... R3 to set as destination. There we go. Now what we need to do... So we know that they're in a building. And that building is... Basically follow this road but don't turn left at the crossroads. Assuming that that's... All right, so we're going to go under here. Under here. This is the large circle bit. No, this is not yet the large circle bit. So let's keep going for a bit. And that says talk to rear. We don't want to talk to rear. Okay, so this, this is the bit where we want to be turning left. Because otherwise what happens, you see, is we leave the town. So we want to just now follow this road. It should swing round to the right. There it is, round to the right. Blacksmith's banging away there, up over the bridge. Is it up there? No. We keep going this way then. Wonder, wonder, wonder. What on earth happened to your horse, mate? Your horse does not look very well at all. I think you need to get that horse to a vet, mate. That's not a well horse. That is not a well horse. I don't think his horse is very well, you know. Not at all, not in the slightest. I don't think they're very well either. Um, da -dum, da -dum. All right, so that look, that large building over there looks like a possible, possible place for us to be heading. And there's a shiny thing on the door. Quest marker in Doril Manor. So, is this the one we want to talk to? Garin in Doril? That's Tamil in Doril. That's Garin in Doril. There we go. Ah, my orders are to help you. Tamil said you would lead me to the West Gate. Uh, we should go. Goodbye. Uh, right, good. Run away. Well, this will make 
follow this will make finding the quest much easier all we have to do is to follow this person and not lose them this bit at least i can do but of course one of the annoying things about these games is that my run speed is much faster than this guy's so we're just going to sort of walk along at what's what is basically my top walking speed and we're going to head to the west gate i don't even know where the west gate is presumably that's what this person's job is is to take me because people like me get lost and down one of the inter oh there we are there's holgan there we go uh, so he's just gonna he's ha, he has teleport just teleport it away and i was about to sing the praises of the game in the way that uh good the covenant is bringing up the ballista and siege ladders time to show them what we've got now for those of you who've been playing along we have been playing a bit of halo and the covenant is those really irritating aliens that we spent a bit of time trying to rescue cortana from so i'm hoping it's not the same covenant do burn those ballistas same for the ladders burn them to ash lead them when we're done it'll be glorious goodbye right okay so we're going to open the gate which you have barricaded only one half of do you know what your problem with defenses is mate that gate needs another bar on it. Oi, moron. Holgan, this, this gate, I shouldn't be able to walk out of. No? Right, okay. No wonder they're just hiring random. Both sides opened. Did you see that? Both sides opened and the, 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 and it opens outwards. The gate opens outwards and you've barricaded the wrong side. Dear me, dear me. No wonder they need our help. Right. Okay, so we're going to come and find uh, these handy little... That's a pack pyromancer. So these are our battlements coming down into the battle down here. So controls before we get into battle. The controls are all based on various different buttons. We don't have combination buttons like you do in some other online games. What we actually have here is uh, let's make sure that i'm going to the right place um i can never remember how to get there except uh, apart from when i'm leveling up there is there is a place that's the description is it in skills there we go so if you can see that top row there uh, square triangle circle l1 l2 and both of them together those those are my currently equipped skills they're all pretty much of a of a muchness. They all basically mean uh, pointy end in the bad guy. And the bad guys, handily, show up as reds. So I can just kind of just wail onto this guy. So we have this thing called a, an Aderic Spear. He's running away. Stop running away. And we also can wield our sword. So we can also beat him to death. And, of course, because it's Skyrim, loot them. Now, one of the, the major problems that a lot of people have had with this is that it isn't Skyrim. The controls for Skyrim, the things that you could do in Skyrim, were actually very helpful. And most people were worried, were questioning why did they actually need to change them? And I've been thinking uh, the same myself, actually. Why, why do you actually need to ch ooh, burn? I can just burn this thing. ba -bom! Why do they actually need to change the, the, the skills? I think most of it is, is about ensuring that you've got a, a sensible plateaued form of leveling because of course in Skyrim, it, a lot of your leveling up entirely depended on how much of something you did. Though why they didn't decide to just take a sort of a Fallout 4 method where you can Oh, one of the oh that's a shame keeps knocking him down uh, i'm trying to see if i can show you my ridiculous spear um in fallout 4 of course you were giving level up points that allowed you to level up the character in a very obvious and, and straightforward way which i think probably would have kept it nice and level for everybody but uh, this is the the level they've got presumably so that you can change between 
different skills as you go. Now, you will have noticed that we have come out to try and burn down these things and that they should, in fact, be a whole host of bad guys protecting them. Uh, though instead, what we've got is a couple of... Ow. Go away. That's, uh, that's healing. I must remember that. So there's that one, and then there's this one, which is go away and be somewhere else. They also take some time to reload. You'll notice that a lot of it depends on how fast my Mythica reloads. My, or my Magic, sorry. Mythica is from the RP game that I wrote. Uh, the, the blue bar just at the bottom left. How quickly that reload recharges depends on how much Magic I have. And of course, how close I am will depend on which skills that I can use. Now, if you do manage to actually properly block, because they do telegraph their attacks, you can actually stagger the opponent. There we go. Oh, well, that would have worked if I hadn't actually killed him. So let's see. We now, What do we also now need to do? We now need to go... There should be another piece of siege equipment somewhere here. Another piece of siege equipment. Can anybody see another piece of siege equipment? Over there somewhere. That's where the little arrow is. So wander over here. We've set lights to that. I wonder if we can burn their tents down. Can we burn their tents down? No, we can't. That's a bit sad, really. And this pack soldier is going to sit there. There is nothing you can do to help them. You can't heal them. You can't make them feel better. Just got to wander past them. Oh, there is... There's the ladder. The ladders are just on the floor. Okay. <laughs> Not against the walls, but just idly resting on the floor and are now on fire. And all these people are slightly ill. And one of the things that is always sad about online games is that because these people are not real people, they are just basically flavor to show the horrors of battle. You can't actually heal them. Being as I'm playing a healing character, it's one of the things that I would actually do is, being as I don't need my magic immediately for a battle, I would probably use it to heal them. I used to do the same when I played World of Warcraft, uh, and it didn't make a difference anywhere in World of Warcraft either, but at least made me feel better. So let's uh, wander back up here. We're going to talk to Holgan. One of the things about online gaming, which you, you get a lot, of course, in Skyrim, is you do a quest, and then you have to walk all the way back to the person that gave you the quest. One of the things I've been quietly impressed with. Oh, there's a lot of soldiers. I saw the flames. Are you done? The damn skeevers tricked us though. This was only a This is only a faint. They scale the cliffs like damn mountain goats. Takes guts. Takes gusts. Okay. Get to the tombs. Get to the tombs. Travels in there performing his ritual. He has no idea what's happened. Guard him until he's done. Oh, right. My two-handed sword has increased. Started city under siege. Right. Find Travail Indery. Now, Travail Indery, uh, which is the brother of the bloke that showed us how to get here. Earlier, we um, borrowed on a permanent with no intention of returning a... Wow. That was, that was quite close. We borrowed without the intention of returning some form of magical item that belonged to his great, great grandfather or something so we uh, we borrowed it and now he's going to do some sort of ritual in order to protect the city and presumably I've got to protect him now bearing in mind this is an online game so you tend to quite expect to have parts of the world that always remain the same what I have been quite impressed with is Sure, at the moment I appear to be in a single, in, single instance, and that is, there is no other, be, no other players. Oh, there's, oh, there are more players. But they are dropping fireballs on me. I have no idea whether or not the other players are, being, are be able to see that, but, or whether or not they just affect me, but that's still quite impressive. 
So here we go, into the tombs. House Indoril Crypt. A burial crypt of the noble Indoril family, one of the great houses of the Dark Elves of Morrowind. It is said that in times of trouble, house, the House Dunmore dared are unquiet and rise to their aid. They were quite unquiet when we wandered through here last time and borrowed his magical item. Oh, this is the person, the Covenant Assassin, who's here to stop us. And oh, there we go, I managed to stagger her so you can actually see how that looks. Excuse me. <coughs> yeah, let's just... And rob her for the sword, which we'll use in crafting later, or possibly sell. And here, fighting going on. Oh, there's one. Let's... Oh, this is a skeleton. There we are. Oh, that, that appears to be another player who's shown up to help. Uh, when you are playing, because we are playing online, of course, there will be other players who can help us. These are the skeletal archers that are guarding the tomb. These are the unquiet dead that are meant to be on our side. They just don't appear to have got the message yet. Let's just end him. And uh, my companion over here has done the same. So he appears to be letting me go first, bravely. There we are. Ooh, that's quite a nifty spell that he's got there. So there are lots of different classes in this. Clearly that person is playing a different class. But uh, it's not one of those that I, 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 I tend to find a class and then sort of stick with it. Um, I need to remember which one is actually... There we go. That was That's what I was looking for. The spell that allows me to do ranged fireball. It does quite a bit of damage as well, so... Oh! Let's just range fireball this one. It sets them on fire, they burn for a little bit, which means that by the time I get to them, they are at least ready to be <coughs> turned into <coughs> so much mulch. Oh, are you still having trouble? Nope, you've dealt with that one. I'll destroy us all. Oh, oh, of course! Uh, online game, so this is... Ooh! That was the uh, spectre that I had to defeat the last time I was here. Uh, so let's just um, just <laughs> set that one on fire. Now he's not going to attack me because uh, I am not actually part of this quest. Instead, I'm going to help out this poor person to my right because I found them quite difficult to take down on my own. So I see no reason why I shouldn't help. I won't. However, rob the gold as I did the last time I played this, because that's just mean. There we go. Boom. Gone. There we go. We shall take the gold that is out. Ow. Go away. I don't understand these these skeletal warriors. We've just spent. We just run up and down this place, uh, ending his master, and now is the time that he's chosen to join in. We're not even going that way. Right. Where were we doing? We were taking. Ooh, an event ticket. I don't know what that does. Uh, Rawhide Belt of Magicka. Uh, what is that? Character bind on. This Demon Skull Bucket contains some of the secrets of Dreamer crafting motif as well as items of sinister interest to the witches and warlocks. It can be earned only once a day. Oh. Well. I didn't know that. Okay, again, because it is an online game, there are 101 parts of this that I have absolutely no idea how they work. Defend, me while I perform the ritual. Uh, defend you while you perform the ritual. Yes, sir. From the depths of Ash, uh, from the death of the Ash Mountain, da 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 da, you summon Balrath. Oh, hello. First customer to be. Oh, and hello and welcome to the channel, those of you that have just joined us. Uh, this is uh, Zen playing games badly, uh, playing uh, Elder Scrolls Online. And as you can see, you should be able to, should you wish to join in, you can join in with the chat channel and feel free to talk and uh, post stuff and I'll do my best to reply. Uh, don't expect this to be uh, as brilliant. I have labelled the channel plays games badly for a reason and that's me healing myself when actually what I wanted to do was to send this guy somewhere else. 
There we go. Set him on fire instead. And, oh, run away, why don't you? <laughs> I mean, there is something amazing about that spear that just sends them flying. I don't think it ever gets old, really. Oh, is he still alive? Let's uh, fix that, shall we? There we go. Oh, monkeys, he moved. I really got to remember that I always tend to use my large spell far too soon. And if I do use it, uh, I tend to use it in the wrong way. There we go. Stop doing whatever it was you were doing. Be on fire. Have we done it? Have we done it? Um, what is that? What is that? That does not look like it's on our side. Okay. I mean, okay. I mean, it seems to have done. It seems to have... I will cloak you in shadow. Enter the portal and witness our victory. Um, okay. Let's step into this portal. And follow the big, scary, stompy, skeletal thing. Because that's clearly a good idea. Hmm. Alright, well let's go and see what, what that big, scary, skeletal thing has to do. Dum 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 dum. Oh, I mean, he wasn't joking when he said cloak me in shadow, was he? I appear to be on a boat. Hack it apart. Oh, wow, that is... That is not good. Can I actually... It's just raining arrows on people. Wow. I mean, that's that's quite disgusting. It's just, just raining death. I mean, this is better than a cutscene. Uh, wow. Okay. A burnt barrel. Yeah, no, no wonder. Yes. Okay. I mean, that pretty much ended their attack. Do I have to swim back? Or is there a portal that I can just sort of wander back through up here? Portal... I can take the drink, I can take the breads, search the barrel, ignore the rye. Um, how about any of this? Ooh, there's a trunk. The maple bow, we'll take that. Let's see what's in here. We, can, we can't take the candle. You can search the trunk. Some lockpicks, that's good, because I think I broke all the ones that we had. Apple basket cabinet. Ooh, and recipes. Now, recipes uh, allow you to make food in the world, which, rather like the food in Skyrim, uh, does also, uh, you know, does various things. That's guards, jack, braces, and I can use the seat if I wanted. Uh, it does allow us to uh, make things that will basically act as healing. I haven't actually got very far into doing that kind of stuff. It is looking like the way back is to swim. Uh, one of the interesting things about this is like in Skyrim, there is an open sea that you can kind of go swimming in. But if you do decide to go swimming, there are actually quite a few nasty fishes that will ensure that you don't swim for long. So it, it's always best to only swim when absolutely necessary. Ow! So that person has a smaller version of the spell that we we witnessed the large monster using. And let's just make this guy go, oh, we are out of Mythica. And we're going to have to beat him the old-fashioned way. Okay, so let's, let's wander up here and see. Go back and talk to... I am still surprised by that big stompy skeleton. That big stompy skeleton was uh, was was quite worrying, but at least it was on our side. Yeah, thank you. Yes, we, we thank you very much for your cheering support, a random person as I was passing. It's can I, I can never remember how you put your sword away. How do you put your sword away? Not that one. Not that one. No, that just changes. The, that one. That one. No. No, what we've done is we've changed the 
thing that we were doing. Uh, talk to Rhea, talk to travel to Wendenfell, talk to the Prophet, Battle Master Reese, talk to Indoril. There we go. Well, apparently just opening the door puts it away. Okay, let's. Because if you do wander around here with your sword out, they uh, they are they do get rather miffed about it. So that's the destination. We're back here. Where is the? Where is the? Where are we going? Ah, this way. This looks a lot more decimated than it did than the first time. So here's the inside of it, which is quite nice, really, for an online game where the map has actually changed permanently based on the game going forwards. So there's a lot of burnt stuff here. I do wonder, being as this is an online game, because, of course, I don't actually... You don't know what other people are seeing, but I wonder what happens if they watch me move into a burnt building like that, which wasn't previously burnt. I wonder how that looks. But it, here we are. Credit to, your house. credit to my house. I don't have a house. Oh, well, I have a room and an inn. We've won the day. Victory is complete. Even now, the government retreats. Summon the Balwraith. Oh, good. Grand Master of House Inderil, uh, and I get the Inderil Pro Staff, and I can complete the quest. The Bolroth has done the job. The 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 job. Yes. In the depth of Ash Mountain. Okay, good. I'm not exactly sure. What? Okay. My able son Garin even now works to return him to his slumber. He will guide your hand. Okay, so you summoned a Balwreath and you have no idea how to put it back? You're worse than most of my role-playing uh, party. Yes, it just summoned this big stompy animal. Yes, it has defeated its enemies, but we don't actually know how to stop it from murdering us. Utter moron. Find Garen on the slopes of Ash Mountain, ascend it to the soldiers with him to ensure his safety. Okay, I'll report to him. Okay, can you tell me more about the Balwreath? One of two ancient juggernauts. So there's another one, the Brothers of Strife. The Balwreath is a powerful weapon at our command, which we don't know how to put back in its box. Gordon Bennett, moron. It's like none of the other Skyrim games in any way had any kind of impact on this person. Okay, so we are going to the foot of Ash Mountain. So I've got a feeling that's going to take a while. It's a distance away. Now we can summon a horse. Summon a horse. Yay, summon a horse. So we get to summon a horse. Uh, it, it arrives, I think, at 11... Uh, uh, level 11 uh, or, or 10 something like that relatively early on in the game it took me a long time to actually work out how to do it so uh, but at least i have now uh, worked out how to do it let's uh, come down here ride the horse again hello horsey gee up horsey uh foot of ash mountain let's make sure we don't go the long way shall we that's not the one we want is it this is no we want the map Oh, we haven't... Oh, do we have to sort of zoom out? There we go. The Harbinger. Uh, Daughter of the Giants. Talk to the Prophets. What's this? This is the Sapling. That's an area effect. Uh, quest. So where are we going then? Where is this quest? Uh, is, that the foot of, is that the foot of Ash Mountain? Arthurin's Way Shrine. Recall here. What's uh, another Way Shrine? Hmm, where are we going? Where are we going? Where are we going? Ooh. That's a Witch's Festival. That's interesting. Uh, travel to Windenfell. Talk to Rhea. Uh, Ragamore. Let's have a look. Where are we? Where are we? Where is this flipping quest? What's that? 
Evan Hart Chateau. Press this to preview. Oh, those are houses. Houses that we can buy and where they are on the map. Well, that's interesting. Quiet the ringing bell. That's where we're going. And we've come out completely the wrong side of the city. So we, but we can travel to this way shrine. Yes, let's just travel to the way shrine. Humana, 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 and travel. There we go. Off we go. Whizzing through the digital lands rather than basically riding our horse. There we go. That should now put our destination talk to Gyrus Inderil above. And so this is the foot of Ash Mountain. Isn't that nice? I quite, I've always liked lava as a, to look at. I don't like being near it. It's too flipping hot. But I do like the... Ooh, Ash Mountain discovered. Packed Soldier. Uh, so Packed Soldier is at least on my side. Wander up here. There he is. Garin Indoril. Lots of people kneeling at your feet, man. Mm-hmm. Okay, we're not going to talk about that, are we? Just, just they're just casually kneeling, just casually kneeling. All right, Karen and Doril. We need all the help we can get. Your father told me. I mean, I wonder why he doesn't want to go quietly back into his cage. May have been too hasty. What do you mean? The ritual father gave me to rebind the battle reef isn't working. Something's gone wrong. Daedra are pouring from the volcano and I'm worried about the nearby towns. We need answers and we need them fast. What would you have me do? Our best bet is to go back to the source. The mages that first bound Balris. Some of them are buried at the necropolis to the south, a place called Othnoris. I've sent a scout, Aruja. Uh, not in any way connected with a Ouija, uh, to learn what we need. Go there and aid him. On it! Uh, because I've got no choice, because that's literally how quests work in this game. So, find Ouija. So, directly that way, but if we go directly that way, that way lies certain death. Because we can't travel over lava. Is there, a, is there another way? No. No. Presumably, based on the fact that there are, there does appear to be ways down there, at higher levels we start taking low, no damage from lava. Or maybe, maybe, there are actually creatures in the game where, that don't take any damage at all from lava. Who knows? Very interesting that we can actually walk down into the lava. So, find Ouija. Ah, oh, there he is, just over there. I've got to stop doing that. How are you doing? Are you just playing tricks on me, dry skin? Um. Oh, that's good okay. then. I'm pleased to see a friendly snout. That's much better than all the dead faces lately. Okay, we'll stop digging up dead people. Um, because they're elves and they're basically too arrogant to stay dead. Just read some old runes, he said. He didn't mention how active the dead are here. You're the sun on my scales. You Your answer lies with Moravis Silareth. He is bound to the Brother of Strife long ago. We need his knowledge, but a highborn like him could be um, difficult. Oh, you can't make a highborn serve. You can't make a highborn serve. You need flattery. Properly respectful. Oh, well, that'd be interesting. My scrolls say there's a shrine on the east rise and one on the west. Honor him at both, then meet me at the center of Othenris. Go and remember, try to sound humble when you chant Mavos' name. Sound humble. Me at the center of Othrenis. Be ready. There's more to do. Um. My boss is ancient. He knew ancient secrets. How else? Uh, it helped his bind a dangerous weapon. Why was the Balrith browned? During the first era, Chimera created the Brothers of Strife in desperate to defeat their enemies. 
Look at what it did in a single day. My scales shrivel thinking about that heat. What should happen should it roam free? Well, do you know what? Now is not the time to be having that conversation. The time for having that conversation would have been way back when we were binding it. And in fact, there was a big conversation about whether or not we should do this. Sadly, the game didn't actually let me shout at the guy for being a moron. Here we are. Let's get some jute. Jute uh, is raw materials for clothing, as you find out in the wild. So always best to pick it up as you pass because you need 10 to turn it into something useful. I mean, I'll take that. I'm being hit by something. What am I being hit by? Oh. Boing. There we go. Let's just make this. So active the dead are it was a bit of an understatement. Okay. Bonk. They are. Cease in your existing. Again. Uh, all right. Boink. Let's just set this one on fire. I should have used the other one. Confused my right and my left because I managed to hit two skeletons there. Oh, uh, that's a thing that I tend to do a lot, actually, is confuse my right and the left. Uh, I am dyslexic, which explains a lot of my processing errors. Uh, and also one of the reasons why I can't read fantasy maps. Uh, it's what makes a lot of your, your viewing far more interesting than it would have been if I wasn't actually as dyslexic as I am. We go. That's that skeleton down. What is this shrine that we're meant to go and be all humble at? Is this it? Is this? Oh, this is the shrine of veneration. There we go. Completed chant at the shrine of veneration. And then we've got to go to the shrine of reverence. Oh, hello. Not a very good guard, was he? Standing there facing the wall. Was he trying to hope that I would just sneak past? Don't look at me, adventurer. I wish to continue living. It's not going to be his day, is it? There we go. Let's just make that person take the gold. Take the money. Open the box. What's the other shrine over there somewhere? And up here. I hope I am actually going to the right one. Shrine of Reverence. Because all of the quest markers look the same, you can find yourself accidentally travelling quite a while in the wrong direction because you've accidentally picked up the wrong shrine while you were looking at it. So let's just bump him out the way, hit him with that one. Block. Come on. Just, oh! <laughs> Did you see that? That I, that I mean, that was totally intentional. I absolutely intended to aggro another two skeletons while finishing off the other one. That's that's exactly what I meant to do there. Oh, there's another player stood over there watching me die. That was nice. Okay, so pray at the Shrine of Reverence and try to sound humble. Oh, quite a nice effect, that, isn't it? Go talk to Ouija board. Okay, let's go talk to Ouija. Somewhere down here, somewhere in the centre. I'm going to guess that rather fancy looking set of arches. Oh, not that fancy looking set of arches. Near them. Close. By my egg, you startled me. Please, no more. Oh. Very humble as you sought the honor of yes, what's the next step? Time. Honor marvels at at his brazier at the centre of Othonis. By the way, the dead may want your blood for daring to disturb a highborn. I'll just wait over here until you're done. Oh, good. Lovely. Thank you. What you mean is go here. Do this. Do this. Oh, we've got to be close, have we? There we are. And we're going to do this and survive the anger of the dead. That's a, that's a, a really nice... That's a, that's a really excellent quest. Do not die. That's, that's, that's what that quest is. Don't die here. Because it, it won't do you any good. Come on. Desist. Let's stand over here. See if anything else is coming. There it is. I knew there'd be another one. Let's see if we can hit it with that. Come on. There we are. And then this one. 
And then this one. Oh, no, that's praying. Don't pray. And we're out of magic. Error, we're a Templar that doesn't have any magic. Panic. 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 Run away. Run away. Run away. While the magic bar fills. Run away while the magic bar fills. <laughs> Run away while the magic bar fills. Come on, come on, come on. There we go. Badoink. And hit it with this. Stop pointing at me, it's rude. Can you just not? You've got better things to do with your unlife. Uh, ooh, search him. We'll have the reincarnation staff. The inventory is full. Uh, restoration staff. I mean, that's not very good. Uh, who dares to talk, talk to Ouija? Let's talk to Ouija and then we can work out what we want to drop uh, in our inventory. Talk to Ouija, who was very helpful. There you go. You make it look easy. At least what I saw when I wasn't hiding in Oh, good. Yes. I made it look easy. But did you hear his voice? My boss has returned. Great. Where can I find him? So he gets the important looking tomb. It's the largest crypt in the necropolis. I'll uh, be gathering my notes. Don't wait for me. Oh, good. Lovely. Thanks. Thanks. Clearly you are too busy to do other things. All right. So our inventory is full. So what have we got in here? That's with 70 of 70. That's the recipe. So we can uh, use that. And I think that means we learn it. I think that means we learn it. You learn, yes. So that's good. So we've got some glyphs. We've got some soul gems. We've got some lock picks. We've got a carapace that we can sell. Ectoplasm that we can sell. Uh, the anth uh, anthology of abodes available for acquisition. And crow caller. I've been known to summon more than just birds during the witch's festival. See what a faint yellow light emerges from within. Elaborate sigils are seen carved among the insides of the crow caller. Use the crow caller. Oh, hungry for power. Come, Reaper, come closer. That's a witch. Oh, what a pleasant scent. But last year's harvest won't feed this year's brood. I need something fresh to bestow my boon. Your boon, what do you want? Okay, handful of reagents. A pumpkin to serve as a base. Guts torn from a squealing critters to add body. Okay. The strongest creatures. Harvest them, the essence will linger about you, and just add the right flavour to my brew. Okay. Well, that wasn't what I thought we were doing. Um, but that seems a bit interesting, doesn't it? Collect a pumpkin. Where on earth would we get a pumpkin? Okay. And collect an essence of death and collect some guts. Okay. Well, I mean, this looks like an essence of death, isn't it? These are quite dead. So let's see what happens if we set one of them down by fire. So, collect the essence of death. That's one of those... This is, this is the Halloween... Uh, quest thing I'm guessing that you see in a lot of a lot of these online things these days uh, so we are Marva uh, Mavis Strolleth oh there's uh, some glowing stuff over there that looks promising should we go and explore the glowing stuff yes I know I've wandered all the way off the quest because we were doing something to stop the Balrith which is clearly uh, the please don't please don't 
tell us off for using copyrighted names because we can't call it a Balrog. This is called a Balrath instead. Oh, so they're just pretty lights. Interesting. I would have thought that this was the big and impressive tomb. That's a chest. It's, a, it's an open chest. So somebody's already been here. Let's have a look. Oh, he's still alive. I would ask you questions, but you're undead. Which doesn't really help me at all. Let's just beat this guy repeatedly, see if we can get anywhere. Where do you find a pumpkin? This is where it would be useful for, for the online members that are watching to tell me where on earth you find a pumpkin. But being as I'm not sure that any of you know, um, and I'm not getting quest markers either. Defeats a boss in any delve to find essence of the essence of death. Okay, so quick question, what's a delve? And how do I find one? Presumably, this is one of those things that everybody knows, right? That what a delve is? Okay, well, what we will have to do, let's, let's, finish, let's finish this, this quest line, and then we'll go back to finding out what the pumpkin is. So what were we doing? Talk to uh, Millock's Crab, talk to Mavos Stolith. Let's do that and see whether or not, because we can complete other quests if we pass them on the way. So if we happen to see a pumpkin while we're going, or we happen to find a Dell, whatever one of those is, and, and complete uh, the boss, we will also help complete that, that quest line as well. So that'll be useful, won't it? So it's, we're going to go up here, presumably the biggest, biggest tomb. Is this the biggest tomb? Oh yes, this is the biggest tomb. There he is. In all his shiny, shiny glory. Standing there, just idly casting magic. There we go. So, you're, you're the one who raised me. me. You better be astonishingly important. Astonishing. Or I'll do unspeakable things to your freshly mortal form. Well, that suddenly got kinky, didn't it? Uh, Balreath, the brother of strife, is ravaging Stonefells. Greatest age of my era, and you woke me up to tell me something you could have read in a book. It's pathetic. You clearly must aid my people again. No death worms for you just yet. Thanks. I knew skeletons weren't enough. I should have summoned some Daedra to protect this place. Or a fire astronaut. That would have been good. Um, can you teach me how to bind the Balrith? I don't remember how. Oh, good. Worm. Details fade, over time. Details fade over time. Well, he's got a sense of humour. That should show you what you need from me. A skull, a skull and a candle. East and the west. And there's a puzzle lock on each of them. And no, I don't remember the solution. Good luck with that. I'll go crank the implements. I don't even have hands to pick them up. That's annoying. Okay. Couldn't you just tell me how you bound it? Yes, I could if I remembered. Not use for remembering when you're dead. That's interesting. Don't pester me with questions. Deeply personal ritual items. I slaved for two weeks making that Kwama grease candle. And the skull belonged to my favorite apprentice. Why? Because I said so. <laughs> Right, <coughs> big stompy mage says uh, that we have to go get the uh, skull, so we're gonna listen to the big stompy mage because we need to stop the ball wreath. So down we go. Collect the candle. Collect the candle. So what's that say? Shrine, use the shrine. we go um 
Okay, so we can use this shrine now. So now they're all blue. Let me guess that this one needs to be yellow. There we go. Blue, yellow. Does this mean this one has to be red? Ah, oh, there we go. Shiny, shiny chest. Uh, grease candle. Which we can pick up even though our inventory is full because it's a quest item. Though our inventory is full, we should probably do something about that. And not heal ourselves when we should in fact be hitting things. Let's, uh, so we have magic, so let's do that, and then that, and then that. There we go. And then we do this. And then we wait, and we do that. Set him on fire. And then hit him with our Daedric Spear, which does a lot of damage. And then just beat him to death for the rest. There we go. Right. So we were going to look at our inventory, weren't we? Inventory. Let's have a look. Inventory. 70 out of 70. Let's have a look at supplies. Is there anything here that we can eat? That's normally a good way of making space in your inventory. Uh, fishing stuff. Do we need fishing stuff? Well, we've got insect parts. Let's just destroy that. Yes. Okay, so that, that gave us one. Honing stone, we kind of want. Iron ignorant, we kind of want. We need the jute. There's some red meat and rose and seasoning and stuff. We don't know how important those are, so we can't get rid of them. Quest items, main hand. So supplies, materials, slotable items, slotable items. Aha. Okay, so crown experience with scrolls, we don't want to destroy that. Yellow goblin tonic, increase your stamina recovery. And banana surprise. So cake, 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 cake. Plunder scroll and public sweeper contain some secrets of the demon crafting as well as items of sinister instruct. It can be earned only once a day. So presumably we can earn that, which we take all of these things. Which we apparently can't do because our inventory is full. Right, well, this is interesting. Serum of Health, Serum of Health, Serum of Health. And a treasure map. Those are quest items. So, here are the... Where's the weaponry? There's bound to be... Bound to be weaponry we can drop. Let's have a look. Uh, maple Restoration Staff. It's a healing staff. Iron sword, which we can probably make, so we can just destroy that. There we go. That will give us uh, space to go back and get the uh, whatever it was materials. Where is that? Uh, that one which allows us to get that crafting thing. And I'm going to guess it sort of vanishes once you've used it. Yes. Vanishes once it's used. So we can now have a look at supplies. Uh, crafting motif. Used to add to your law library. Used to learn to make Demora shields. There we are. We learned how to make Demora shields added to our law library. So that's more space that's two slots free and somewhere in here i saw a thing that we can eat materials they are an emetic rissula of which i have ah i have five of them so presumably useful for something which i'm going to need for stuff but it's got traits and it's alchemy now if you remember from skyrim if i eat one of these i learn a part of it which in this case was ravage health which probably wasn't a, a useful thing so we now need to go and collect the skull but we've at least got some space in our inventory if we need it 
I'm just going to ignore these skeletons because they are just generically tedious. It does reach that point in Skyrim where you do just have to wander past them. Ah, oh, this is the bit. Ooh. Ow. 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 I was stopped looking at a bird and I get randomly attacked. That's just not fair at all. Go on. How about you just disappear over there? Bye. There we are. Where's the other one? There was another one. I'm sure there was. Clearly got bored and wandered off. Okay, so there are another two here, which I could have snuck up on if I'd been paying attention and not just trying to solve the puzzle that's ahead of us. But based on the fact that this is the same kind of puzzle as the last one, <coughs> I'm going to guess that the uh, combination to, to, to solve it is pretty much of a muchness. I am slightly concerned by my health at the moment, we might end up dead. Now, providing we don't get attacked, we should be all right. Now, there is a way of getting a, a sip of health, uh, but I can never remember how. <laughs> I should probably spend some time and actually learn how to do that. Uh, where is this skull's pressing? Collect the skull. That and that, presumably. That, that, activate. That. So there it is. There's the sip of health. But it doesn't seem to want to let me activate it. Anyway. So, assuming this puzzle is the same as the last one. So we just make that yellow, because that's yellow. We make this blue. Make this blue because that's blue and then we just make this yellow there we go and yellow again there we go wait for a moment and we get the skull of his former apprentice we go talk to Morrow's let's wander back up here but our health has, res has respawned one of the th because it's an online game we don't need to cast healing on ourselves. We don't actually need to access potions. We can just wait for a while and our healing does in fact recover. And we're a little interested about that bird because it keeps sort of following us. You have the skull, and skull and the candle. To be impressed. You can gather small objects. Good for you. Oh wow, sarcasm. <laughs> they are. What if you're not successful? You doubt my skill. If there's any consolation, what's left of you won't take much effort to clean up. Me, I'm a ghost already, so it hardly matters. Good for you. Good for you. Prepare yourself. Talk to the acolytes. Ow. Ow, ow. What's Charred Ridge? Charred Ridge? What are you doing? What are you doing? I didn't consent to be sent somewhere. Now we're going to go back in time, aren't we? Speak to the acolyte when he had a face. And he wasn't just a skull that we could call Eric. What do you think of it so far? Rubbish. That's a joke for those of you that remember who Morecambe and Wise are, which is probably not very many of you. That's the way back. Do we have to fight our way through to talk to this? So to talk to this person. Oh, there's a seat. We could just sit down. Pretend we're not playing. So he's over there. Let's go and let's go and see what's over here. Talk to the acolytes who will remember. Oh, however, there are little fiends. And I say little advisedly. Because <laughs> that's a quite a disgusting skill. Please stop that. Uh, downside, I only have fire magic. And uh, that's probably not as effective against fire demons as I would like it to be. Am I the only... Uh, so how about you just go away? Go away. Thank you. Daedra Husks. Talk to the Acolyte. Oh, is Eli's dying? You couldn't have taken me back further. We're doomed! Doomed! Who are you trying to restrain Baldwin? But Daedric portals keep opening. 
those of us who've survived Boris are being pulled down. Pulled down and cursed scamps. Take what's in this pouch. Throw it in the portal. I was supposed to, but my coming death prevents me. <laughs> Find Magister Enus when you're done. She should be north of here. Oh, well, okay, good. Um, so I guess what we're going to do then is go and close these portals. I don't know what that is, but it's not friendly. Let's let's not go and deal with that thing. Oh, that one's in the way, isn't it? Oh, wow. Okay. That's a heck of a jump. Um, and in my panic, I rather exploded at it. So it can just stand there and take damage from my from my big... Uh, so, rawhide scraps. Rawhide arms, corpse of stamina, which I can't take. Daedra husk, which I can. And I call, which I can't. Oh. Right, okay. So, what we might have to do is we're going to get to the portal uh, and uh, we may have to end it there but we shall see how it goes okay so let's just finish this where is this portal so things are going to come spewing out of the portal maybe if I ignore it it won't attack me maybe if I ignore it it won't attack me I might be wrong on that account can we can we activate things while being attacked? No, clearly not. Uh, so let's. Yeah, that's one down. Uh, up, up. I still can't work out how to take this. I still can't work out how to tow oh, monkeys. Oh, there we go. And we're dead. There we go. Oh, we can we can respawn here. When facing high amounts of flame damage, consider increasing your resistance to this element. Consume food or drink will increase your primary attributes. There we go. We are now a ghost. We will slowly coalesce back into life. But I really cannot work out how to take this sip of health. Oh, maybe it is just a, a quick tap, not a quick tap and hold. Let's use the portal. Completed. Closed northern portal. Okay. So we're just going to rinse, wash and repeat that. And we're just going to run through these. Let's not bother taking these on. Ow. There's the other portal. So we have to take this one on because we know from experience that if we don't take them on, then we're not going to survive. There we are, that's that one taken. Oh, no, it didn't go down. There we go. Oh, they have got quite a range on their little aggro, haven't they? There we go. And again, we are not looking very well. Let's hide up here for a bit. Oh, monkeys! They followed me. Oh, dear. Okay. So, I think we'll try when facing... Yes, you can spend stamina by activating weapons abilities. Yes, thank you for that. But doink. Right, so... One of the things that we clearly need to do is have a look in our inventory. Slottable items... And let's apply the serum of health. Oh, we can just uh, use it from there. Assign that to there. And then we can probably assign the tincture of health to there. So that should hopefully... Oh, we've got to wait some time before that revolve. We... Uh, that... Uh, what's it? Refills before we can use it again. But it doesn't seem to take that long. There we go. That seemed to make it slightly deceased. OK, 
Can we make it to the portal? Can we make it to the portal? Yes. Boom. Closed. Okay, so while we've got a bit of time, what can we drop from our inventory that we don't need? Let's have a look. Is there anything in here? Raw Magicka, oh, those will all be useful. Iron Curious. Well, we can probably destroy that, yes. And we can definitely uh, destroy that. Shoulders. Um, I'm going to keep that because we don't know how to make that. And we can learn how to make it from things that we haven't quite... We can just destroy those. Legs, Ooh, we're going to keep the Iron Greaves, but we can get rid of those. There we go, and some feet. Um, homespun shoes, rawhide boots. So we'll get rid of those. And we're going to keep those, because they appear to be worth... No, they're not because uh, it has got increased inspiration on them. So we won't get rid of those just yet. There we go. So hopefully we've got a bit more to work with because this is looking like a an interesting place. So let's go and close this portal. With a bit of luck, I can sneak up and around and we won't have to face any more of those demons. I just like the fact that we do this and the portal explodes. Talk to Magister. Talk to the Magister. I'm clearly stuck in somebody's vision. So we're back in the past, working out how to close, how to save the the future by being the person that saved the past. Presumably, that's what's going on here. And when we get back to the front, we'll discover that it was actually some unusual person who saved us. We can level up. We can level up. We're not going to level up right now. What we're going to do is is to uh, use the portal to Othrinus. And I think that's where we are probably going to pause it. It's been wonderful playing for you again. I hope you've all enjoyed the show. Hope you've had a great time watching me wander around Elder Scrolls Online. And I hope that actually some of you have seen this and pick up the game because I've really enjoyed it. I think it's it's a it's a great a great game to to have. And being as there is no ongoing cost, absolutely a fantastic fantastic game to pick up. And though I'm not being sponsored by Bethesda or the Elder Scrolls Online, I just really like the game. So thank you very much for for watching. Thank you very much for being with me. Uh, I've been Zen. You've been awesome. Remember to click the follow button and. If you're watching this on YouTube, don't forget to click the like and the subscribe button and remember to hit that little bell so you get the notification every time I upload a video. If you're not watching this on YouTube and are in fact watching this on uh, Twitch, you can find my YouTube cha channel by going to bit.ly forward slash Zen Plays Games. Thank you very much for joining me. I've been Zen. You've been awesome. Good night. Good night.